feel like it's going to take a bit more time in regards to seeing um, what you want to see in regards to your finances. But I do feel like your status is going to elevate and that's going to help you a little bit more with your finances. And again, this is timeless, so this could happen anytime. And again, this could also be advice as well and not just predictions. All right. I did say air signs. I don't know why I'm thinking about fire signs right now. Maybe you guys are dealing with that energy or may need to work with that energy. Uh, so raise or promotion. So like I said, climbing the ladder. Um, and this could be just any form of reward. It doesn't even have to literally be um, a raise or a promotion, but it could be something like that. So the spirit is wanting you to pat yourself on the back because you have finally reached a certain destination that you have wanted to reach in regards to your finances. Maybe some of you could be getting closer to retirement. Uh, maybe you need to give yourself a raise or a promotion if you're working for yourself. Um, and some of you may need to check out self-employment if that is something that you're not currently in right now. So we have congratulations, an increase in your abundance flow awaits you. This is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. Keep up the good work. So this could also just be in the form of recognition, someone in a higher position, paying attention to the work that you have provided and they're maybe wanting to show you that they've acknowledged that in some type of way or they may just say word of mouth hey thank you for what you were doing um or again you may see a pay raise or you getting promoted to a different position um or something like that and this could be you needing to know your worth and go after certain positions if you haven't um gone after them so maybe you need to seek the raise or promotion I keep wanting to talk about fire signs. It may be because I did them earlier, but yeah. Um, so we also have do the work. So you do have to, yeah, for some of you, this is you needed to seek after that opportunity and not wait for it to come to you. So take an action, action, I want to say actionly, action accordingly. So it's not enough to dream or pray. You've also got to take the positive action steps that you are being guided or you're being divinely guided to take consistently working on your priorities will make them flourish like a lush flower garden. So yeah, do the work. Um, plant the seeds and you'll definitely reap the rewards here it's maybe taking time because again I said climbing a ladder and climbing a ladder is something that you do not need to rush to do so um, yeah still wanting to talk about fire signs for whatever reason maybe you guys need I just uploaded it I had recorded it hours ago but I'm just now getting to upload it because I have to merge it um, that could be why I'm thinking about it, but you guys may feel guided to go watch their reading as well, since I keep thinking about it. Uh, so savings. <clears throat> so a part of you getting these rewards may have to do with you saving up. Um, it says, as you consistently save for your future, your future is saved. You do your future self a big favor as you consistently set aside present funds that is a part of your self this is a part of your self-care and path to feeling secure as you focus upon your life purpose. So saving, just setting aside some chunk change or a few dollars here and there from each check or, you know, however you're getting your funds and just putting it to the side and like I said, saving it, saving it for later, saving it for a rainy day. You guys are becoming, you're coming closer to achieving the goal of saving enough uh, money for whatever it is you're trying to save for, whether that be like trust funds or whether it be like a house you're trying to save to buy for a car or a business or something, you're definitely going to get very close to reaching that goal here. <clears throat> Face your financial fears. 
So when you are honest with yourself about fears of success or failure, they can no longer control you. Be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness and you'll realize that you in fact have nothing to fear and that every successful person has struggled with and released these self-doubts. Okay, that was someone coming through playing music. Um, so face your financial fears. This is maybe... You're afraid of saving money, some of you? Or you feel like it may be possible to save up money or enough money for whatever it is you're trying to do, but you're definitely wrong and you're doubting yourself a little too soon. Um, Spirit says to stop second guessing yourself and just go after it, go for it. And this is about you needing to invite your fears to tea, um, basically. Um, I see that somewhere on a card or something. I guess it may be in a deck that I have. And I have been using that phrase a lot since I've seen it. But um, yeah, inviting your fears to tea. Um, confronting them, embracing them, not running away from them so that you can deal with and come up with solutions now rather than having to deal with it later. Um, okay, so what else do we need to know about air signs finances? All right employment change yeah so like i said already raise or promotion for some of you that could be the employment change or it could definitely be the same career or the same job in a different location um same job different position um different facility something about your um employment status is going to change and this is not necessarily a negative career transition for a lot of you i am seeing this being on the positive side this helping you manifest more positive opportunities and opening more doors for you um the employment change again could be in regards to uh self-employment um, but for most of you it's to do with this raise or promotion so we have your career path is leading you in a higher direction with positive changes to support your dreams, priorities, passions, and life purpose. Trust that these changes will help you release the old and welcome the new. You are being supported each step of the way. And then we got one more here. Uh, attracting, not chasing. So this is about not... <sighs> Like I said, go after what you want. Go after the opportunities. Do the work. But you don't want to spend too much time focused on that one area um, when it comes to your finances because you're going to stay stuck in that one area. So Spirit wants you to move around and kind of keep yourself busy and distracted and not so focused on even finances and not so focused on um, one aspect of that of that aspect if that makes sense so anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way because of the fears underlying chasing energy instead attract what you need by sending out love gratitude and welcoming energy so yeah next i'm going in with the life purpose oracle deck also by doreen virtue if you are new to my channel I am a huge fan of Doreen Virtue. I know she had her um, situation where she kind of walked away from metaphysical um, tools and divination and just the whole, uh, I don't like to call it an occult because I feel like that's a negative term. I don't know why. I guess it's just me. But, um, but yeah. So that popped out and I'm going to take that. So speaking of divination, um, your connection to crystals and gemstones is a channel for healing energy. Now, some of you may need to work with this crystal here, and that is an amethyst, one of my amethysts there, which is a part of my altar that I'm trying to create. Um, but yeah, your connection to crystals and gemstones is a channel for healing energy. So pretty much you need to kind of um, set your intentions into crystals and that can help you as well. And yes, crystal magic or crystal energy, whatever you want to call it, it is definitely real. 
At least I feel that it is. Um, Amethyst has been one crystal that has helped me financially, even though it, Amethyst is more so for like certain transformations and your third eye chakra, uh, things like that. But a lot of stones have different properties for different people doesn't mean that it can't work in regards to something else in your life as well but i definitely do see that it is a crystal that you guys specifically right now need to work with in your finances and maybe investing in some crystals or maybe somebody here wants to sell crystals or maybe this could be a business you're getting into that is affiliated with some type of, you know, stones and crystals and things like that. Okay, air signs, infinite abundance. So abundance is coming to you because the intentions that you have set. So you have, you're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. So this is about going in full force into something that you know that you are meant to be doing. And somehow that is going to financially, um, you know, set you up for a lot of positive outcomes and just a lot of prosperity, infinite abundance, infinite means that it does not stop for the most part. You're going to get one thing after the other, but I feel like it's because you've went after and asked for exactly what it is you wanted financially. So, um, now I'm going in with another Dorian Virtue deck, which is the Archangel Oracle deck by, again, Dorian Virtue. My first, uh, I think like my first 15 Oracle decks were Dorian Virtue. I bought nothing but, aside from the Rider Waite Smith Tarot deck, I purchased nothing but Dorian Virtue Oracle decks and Angel cards. I was afraid to venture out, to branch out because I uh, am a Christian or I follow God and Jesus and things like that. And so I was kind of scared that if I were to go off into other, because I know that's how, that's what she was dedicated to even then. Um, I knew, I felt like if I were to go to anybody else, I would be doing something wrong. But eventually I branched out and I think after, during virtue, uh, I think... Eventually, I think my first deck, aside from Dragon Virtue, I think was like a Colet Baron Reed deck, which I'm pretty sure was the Wisdom of the Oracle. I'm just babbling as I'm talking right now, but, well, as I'm talking, well, duh, but I'm babbling as I'm shuffling is what I meant. <laughs> um, okay. Air, so courage. Yeah, so that's might have been why I was thinking about fire signs energy uh this card came up for them in their financial reading so and it is uploaded so take a look at the fire signs reading if you feel guided to do so you do not have to um but be courageous and stand up for your beliefs um yeah taking a leap of faith when it comes to your finances knowing that you will be supplied with what it is that you need to be supplied with even if you know you taking that risk doesn't quite turn out like you want it to even if it goes uh, as unplanned all right creative writing so archangel gabriel so archangel gabriel is communication your throat chakra truth things like that so um this is it says make time to write down your thoughts in a journal or pen an article or a book uh so maybe needing to get organized when it comes to your finances get a feel like i said this in fire signs i'm not sure exactly but um like journaling and just getting a planner or something in making a list of priorities when it comes to your finances somehow that's going to help you guys as well okay so i almost forgot to use a certain deck but so now i'm going in with the power 
of Surrender Oracle by, well, cards. They don't call this an Oracle, but I would say, I would say you can categorize it in the Oracle deck community, I guess you can say. And this deck is by Judith Orloft, MD. I'm hearing not everything needs to be responded to. So when it comes to your finances, just be careful of the opportunities that you do try to accept. And just believe in your courage and your intuition when it comes to accepting those opportunities. Having courage or having faith that your intuition is leading you in the right direction with that. All right. So we have surrender stubbornness. And it says, if you're tensing up or taking a rigid stance about something, gently observe yourself and become more yielding. This will help you communicate more lovingly with others in yourself. So needing to surrender stubbornness when it comes to, since we're talking about money here, when it comes to investing, I feel being too stubborn to take action at all is what I'm hearing. So needing to release the need to stay still because sometimes you do need to take action. Okay, so this is day two of me filming this particular reading. Um, this card had came out um, after one of these two. I had to pause the recording, so I never got to get back to it last night. But uh, we do have surrender and denial. So this is about needing to be honest with yourself about your finances um, in certain circumstances and how to change those. I may have already said that last night um, while I was filming. Um, but yeah. So now I am going to the Moonology Oracle. Um, the first edition by Yasmin Bolin. I do apologize in advance because I am by a window, so you may hear the puppies outside barking and whatnot. And I think this phone is crooked. I don't know if it's that or... If... Yeah, it might be my stuff here. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So let's see finances all right so we have have faith in your dreams so following your dreams and believing that they can happen is very important when it comes to your journey of getting um, more stable in your financial area let's see what else here air signs i believe i'm on air signs the energy is gaining momentum um this is about you getting somewhere we have a lot of purple here so this leads me to believe that a lot of you are very intuitive you're very psychic medium ish um if that's even a word which is not and i know that but um yeah so your intuition your third eye you getting in a meditative state is very important on your journey to bettering your finances or maintaining them and keeping them the way they are if they are currently good some of you could be going through you know you could be on a great path on your finances right now but this is just advice to kind of keep the momentum going maybe so um but yeah you are getting somewhere that's the main message of this card so whatever you are doing it doesn't mean you can't do something to make the process go faster or you can't kind of move the energy around a little bit take a new approach but it is saying aside from taking those steps that you are definitely maneuvering around in the right ways, especially those of you that are doing so by following your intuition. Okay, so now I am getting to the tarot here. Actually, nope, I just lied. Um, I'm trying to move ahead. I don't know why. Um, 
let's see oh yeah this one and then the tarot um the fortune cookie oracle and then our affirmation and by the way let me know if you guys like the affirmations for the readings like like i'm doing them not in every reading but i'm starting to kind of you know actually really enjoy offering them at the end of a reading um of the collective readings like regardless of what subject we're touching on okay so we have this whoa 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 whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah i freak myself out sometimes and i'm like wow so i just said that already so this is a double message to keep doing this if you're already doing this because you're on the right playing field doing that following your intuition with your money um but also there are going to be some intuitive messages in your dreams about your finances as well as for those of you that are not using discernment not using your intuition spirit is wanting you to get into that with your finances and i'm just gonna do or try to do pop-up cards with this one here um well it depends because sometimes it takes way too long to get a card to come out um okay nature getting out in nature doing things naturally and not necessarily you know having to force things to happen um with your finances and in nature the answers your intuition can be more clear providing you guidance in your finances as well moving forward and we have can whoa <laughs> That's about the same thing we've already talked about with the intuition. So Kendrick spirits, and that's just about partnerships as well, sent to you by the divine coming to help you with your finances possibly, or you needing to kind of look up more to the divine and helping you. Um, maybe some divine counterpart somehow being um, a part of your journey financially as well. So, and then being a resource. So yeah, that is, Wow. Okay, so now we're doing the tarot. I don't know why I want to just jump ahead and do this. All right, so I pause the shuffle there. We have six of pentacles, so generosity, um, you having a giving heart, um, even when maybe you couldn't do for yourself or maybe you, you're just generous. And I feel like because of this nature, it comes naturally to you. People don't have to beg. And a lot of the times I feel like you can sense when people are having pr problems, even if your problems seem to be a little bit worse, you still seem to put other people ahead of you. And because of that, spirit has noticed that work ethic, that effort that you have put in, that compassion that you've had for others. And because of that, things are going to come back to you tenfold. Um, okay. Four of Pentacles, protection, stability, um yeah just being like i said more stable finding common ground um now four pinnacles depending on how you look at it can be about being possessive but in this case it just lets you know that you uh the four pinnacles is letting you know that you are going to be okay financially moving forward I don't care how dark your situation is, you're going to come out of it. Wow. So you got three pinnacles cards, pinnacle cards back to back. So definitely money oriented, goal oriented, queen of pinnacles, knowing what she wants, has everything she could ever hope for. And I feel like you love to gain just to be able to help other people. It's not even about necessarily paying your bills or anything like that. Yes, you do realize you have to do that, but it's just like something 
about helping others and giving to others just makes you like happy and like it makes you enjoy life and I feel like this is you enjoying the fruits of your labor kind of like a nine of pentacles moment but I feel like the queen especially when I'm using the light seers tarot um it shows me her not being phased being unbothered her having everything she could have ever hoped for and more All right, six of wands, recognition, rewards, a lot of success coming to you in your finances. Uh, maybe you guys even kind of recognizing more of your power and more of your ability to help you get into maybe the queen of pentacles. If you want to be there and you're not there, but for a lot of you, I feel like you're already in that energy. You're in that giving energy. Um, some of you could want to be there, but you have circumstances where you're not able to, but you're going to get there. And then I'm just going to do about two more pulls from this deck. Two of Wands. Um, seeing progress, getting prepared for what, for what you have been working for. Like the, getting prepared for those rewards. So you have not gotten them yet because the universe was not ready for you to receive them yet. Two of Wands is the card that I see of. When I see Two of Wands... I see getting prepared. That's the main thing that I see. Now, regardless of what it means, again, standard and the standard uh, meanings, definitions, I read intuitively. So keep that in mind. That doesn't mean that. Well, again, <laughs> we all read differently. So uh, keep that in mind. Three of Pentacles, another Pentacles card. And it's funny how you got two one uh, cards back to back as well. So Three of Pentacles teamwork. Three of Pentacles, taking action, um, collaborating. And that could be a suggestion for you. Getting somebody else on board with your plans or kind of combining your plans with other people. So yeah, your finances are looking awesome moving forward. And for some of you, it could even be uh, shifting right now positively but you're not seeing the results clearly yet you're not understanding that you are moving to calmer waters okay so we have the fortune cookie oracle here by v from v love and crystals um i will definitely have this one linked down below um the other decks um at least for this particular reading i won't link them just because i don't know why but yep and sorry for that noise okay so i pause just to get that out of the way that noise the truck or whatever that was that came by um and while i was doing that while i was pausing i was shuffling i seem to be ashy i did wash my hands earlier so that's probably what it is um okay so let's see have a humble heart yeah I feel like this is you guys already. Some of you are going to be able to step into this fully moving forward. Truth will be revealed. So maybe it's the truth about some documents that are related to some type of money you could be inheriting or whatever the case may be. Uh, or some type of money that's being kept from you possibly. You're going to start to get the truth more about that and what's happening about certain contracts maybe moving forward. And that's somehow going to help you with your money. Uh, let's see. In our last one, expect the unexpected. So kind of like your tower moment here. But this is going to be um, like in a more positive way. Not that the tower isn't positive because it can be. But um, but yeah, expect the unexpected things happening in a way where you don't <laughs> expect it um in a good way in a very positive way expect for things to be okay expect for things to be great um right now you guys are maybe expecting the opposite of what i've been saying in this reading and you're gonna be shocked when things turn around for the better for you so yeah um keep in mind we have free will and definitely regardless of whether you like something I've said in a reading or not, personalized, private, collective, whatever reading I'm doing, you definitely still can change the situation according to the way you want it 
want the script to be. So nothing I'm saying is necessarily set in stone, especially being it is a collective reading. Um, I do stand on my word that, you know, I am very good at reading energy for the most part. Uh, but again, that's just how energy works. It moves, it shifts. And again, we have free will daily to change our circumstances. So just keep that in mind. All right. So we're moving on to the affirmation in regards to your finances, air signs. You can take a screenshot of this, write it down. Again, this one in particular is going to be for your finances. All right, air signs. When I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. See your finances through the lens of love and that's what you will attract. You're gonna attract and start manifesting more love in your finances. Pe more people being generous to you. Um. Yeah. So that is your affirmation. Again, when I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the eye, through the lens of love or the eyes of love. Could be that too. Um, so there you have it. Uh, your predictions and advice for your finances um, for air signs. So Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini, I'm saying that slow because for whatever reason, when I go on, especially when I'm trying to mention air signs, I get stuck and I don't know why. I don't know. But um, yeah, anyways, so that is for you guys. I wish you love and light, happiness and success. If you would like to book a private reading with me, follow me on Instagram or contact me or get me anything, send me donations or just anything, everything is going to be in the description box below. And don't forget that I do have two decks for sale. Well, three, actually. Um, my Love on the Brain Oracle, X on the Brain Oracle, and my All That Glitters Tarot. It is all going to be... That's not in the description box. That is on my channel banner. Um, it's going to be like a little spade from a, uh, from a playing card deck. It's going to be that on my channel banner. You click on that and that's my make playing cards URL or you can see all of the decks that I have designed or the ones that I have up for sale because I do have actually more that I have designed. It's just those I have not released out yet and I'm not done with those. So, um, yeah. But anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in and stopping by. I hope that you have found this reading useful and received some type of clarity or something um, to kind of help you move forward. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Don't forget to leave a like, um, subscribe, and share if you feel inclined to. Love and light.